Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use overlays in Vegas Pro 16. Now with overlays you can create some really cool effects. You can add visual effects onto your video, you can create transitions and it's really really simple to create. And if you want an overlay pack all you need to do is go onto YouTube, search overlay pack for free and there's going to be a ton of packs you can download. Now as always if there is a specific tutorial that you want to see on Vegas Pro 16 just let me know in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So here we are on Vegas Pro 16 and as you can see on my timeline I have four different clips here which are all of nature and also in the project media you can see I have a bunch of different overlays. So really, really simple. Like I already mentioned, I did tell you how to download overlay packs. Once you have your overlay pack, then of course you can drag it into your projects media and then you can pick ones that you want to add on. Now the first one I'm gonna be using is called Simple Video Camera. Now this just creates the, the effect as if what you're seeing is from a video camera. So it's like this. So once you add it on, you can see the screen is gonna be just this. You can't see the video below. There is another way you can do this if you just lower the opacity, you can see you can create this effect. However, this is also going to be creating a black tint over your current video and you may not want that. So the proper way to do that, all you need to do is come over to compositing mode which is this button right here. From here you're going to select screen. Notice we now have this visual effect on top and we still have our video playing as normal. So I'll just play this through for you. As you can see, this is the effects we get. Pretty cool, just like that. Now when we've changed the compositing mode, it is everything on this entire track, which means all these other ones we have lined up, all these other overlays, we can simply just drag and drop them on and the effects will already happen. So I'll just trim through this and I'll play this part through now. You can see we get the scratches and it is called old fashioned, of course, because that's when these scratches occur. Then just to show you a very obvious one, this is going to be Sparkle, so I'm going to drag and drop this on. Again, that same video track we already have. And playing it through, you can see here's the sparkles. Now, with a overlay like this, for example, Sparkles or Smoke or something very similar, you can lower the opacity. So you can see it just changes the effects of the sparkles. And this is one I would recommend to adjust if you want to, because you can see with them fully, um, the opacity full it is quite a strong effect and it does reduce the visibility of your video. So again, just one more thing I want to add on, which is the TV simulator. And again, I'll play this through. You can see this one, it's not fitting to the entire screen. So how do we fix that? Very simple. All you need to do is right click, select properties, uncheck maintain aspects ratio and select OK. So I can play this through. As you can see, this is what we get. This is another effect I recommend lowering the opacity. So we can still see our video, but we still also have that visual effect going on at the same time. Now, important to note, you can add multiple or as many effects as you want to. However, they will need to be on vi different video tracks if you want them to be playing at the same time. For example, I like this TV effect and it will go well with the fake camera effect. So all I'm going to do is right click and insert a video track. Now it's important to note you pick the right video track. Now by this I mean what do you want on top? Do you want this overlay here or do you want this overlay on top? Now in my opinion I think it would be best to have the camera on top so then that looks natural and then we'll have the TV simulator underneath so then it gives the effect that of course the recording is corrupt in a way. So I'll play it through. Notice we can't see it. That's because we put this on a new video track. So we're gonna come back to compositing mode and we're just gonna select screen. Now we can play it through. You can see everything is gonna play as normal and we've just multiplied two overlays together.